Today on the show, we're going to be looking at everyone's favorite topic, taxes. Well, it's the start of a new year, 2015, and you know what that means. Another installment in Your Tax Dollars at Work. As a Canadian, we should start where all Canadians should, the monarchy, and with the Queen of Canada. So how much is uh, on the bill this year, Queen? If you go to Google and type in the Monarch League of Canada, you will find a website called themonarchist.ca. The Monarchist League of Canada, promoting Canada's constitutional monarchy. Because when it's written in the Constitution, monarchies are A-OK. -okay. Now, what's of real importance right here is the cost of the crown. So we're going to click on this and we're going to get treated by the Queen. Oh, here we go. The cost of the crown is $1.63 per Canadian per year. So they're already easing you into this before you even click the document open. But we're going to go to the full PDF presentation because, you know me, I want it all. I need it all, Queen. So the cost of Canada's constitutional monarchy. We're going to look at the survey highlights here where the routine cost of the Canadian crown is at $56 million. But then they're quickly going to tell you that, hey, uh, because of the Diamond Jubilee, it was actually $64 million at a cost of $1.85 per Canadian. Now to put that in perspective for you, Stephen Harper, our Prime Minister, our primest of ministers, is getting a salary of 163000 with an overall after wages and whatnot, turns out to be $327,000 a year. Now we're just going to bust out the trusty old calculator and do a simple division. If the Queen is getting $56 million and Harper is only getting 220000 how many Stephen Harpers is the Queen worth? And she is worth exactly 175 Prime Ministers. Now I want to treat you to this publication. The Queen put your hard tax dollars into trying to tell you why it was worth it, and I can't rob you of that right. So I'm going to read you the Canadian Crown. Here we go. The Crown is the apex of Canada's national and provincial life. All governmental authority possessed by the country's 11 sovereign governments ultimately comes from the Crown. While Her Majesty is the personal embodiment of the Crown in Canada, she is also the monarch of 15 other nations and cannot be in all her realms at once. For this reason, governors are appointed for every realm outside of the United Kingdom to act on her behalf and carry out her constitutional duties of the Crown on a day-to-day -day basis. An important point is in these 16 realms, the Canadas, the New Zealands, the Australias, the Jamaicas, the Queen is on the coin. All coins have the Queen's face. And if thousands of years from now people would start digging up our civilization, they would find her face all over the globe, leading them to believe that she controlled a vast empire, which she does. Now that's something to think about next time you look in your pocket and find a buck 63.